Hello YouTube, Caitlin and Parker here, and we are going to be trying some wonderful snacks from Thailand today. Mmm! I can't show you my address, but this is a universal yums, yum yum box. It has some cool snacks, some sweet and salty snacks from um, Thailand. You're probably the more adventurous eater, right? I, I don't really like most anything. Adventurous in that I'll just eat any gross thing. Yeah. No matter how long it's been in the yeah. fridge. So this will probably be good for both of us. Best of both worlds. Yeah. It'll I'm be delicious and adventurous. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Thailand. Ah. Woo! <laughs> so <laughs> beautiful. So what's inside the box? There is Hanami shrimp crackers hot chili flavor. What's a shrimp cracker? This is a non-fried snack. Okay, I'm getting a, a, a cheese puff slide. <laughs> I don't know, I can't. Hmm, yeah, you can't smell. Does it smell like shrimp? It smells like turtle food. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how most snack foods actually smell though, because they're so processed. Woo! It is pungent. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a little Cheetos-esque after you get past, like, shrimpiness? <laughs> Shrimping, it's like shrimpiness. Oh, Cheetos. I'm much more interested to see how you're going to react to this. Do you like it? Does I feel like I, if I say anything, it will ruin the surprise of seeing how you react to it before I eat it. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, it has like the the essence of shrimp. Okay. No. All right. Well, we're going to put this away. I would never choose to eat it. I didn't really think that I would like it because the fact that it's some sort of dried processed food with shrimp in it. Yeah. Make, you know. I'm I ready to move on. Fashion food tomato flavored cracker. This says it will taste like you're eating a fusion of ketchup coated McDonald's french fries and SpaghettiOs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more optimistic about this. It smells more like things I'm used to. <laughs> Second opinion. They don't look the way I thought they would. I don't even know how to describe that. It's like zest and sweetness. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had anything that tasted like that before. Some sort of like pizza sauce. I'm eating another one though. Yeah, it just it's just like tomato soup with crackers in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So tomato cracker, good. <laughs> Little farm garlic bread. We have garlic bread from Thailand. What do you eat this with? It's just like two little crack like pieces of dried bread in a package. This looks like something you'd find in like a cheesy soup on the side. Mm-hmm. Kind of just like sweet garlic bread. Yeah, it's very sweet. United Coffee Candy. Mmm. Coffee candy. Yeah, it's good. I'm digging this. It's just not what my first thought of like what coffee would taste like would be. Oh no! That's why it's different. <laughs> what is mine? The coffee? You're eating the coffee candy. I'm eating the Amir Tamarind candy, which is like kind of sweet. I'm like, this doesn't taste like coffee. We had like vastly different reactions. I was like, we're not eating the same thing, are we? <laughs> I think the tamarind just kind of tastes like normal candy. Yeah, the stuff you probably wouldn't eat first, like after trick-or-treating. Yeah, the stuff that your grandpa like keeps in his pocket all the time. Oh At least yeah. my grandpa does. Yeah. Let's go with the seaweed. Ooh, oh boy. Tao Kai Noi Big Roll Barbecue. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel like I shouldn't be reading this. I don't know how to say. Tao Kai Noi? Seaweed flavored like barbecue. Okay. <laughs> That seems like a weird combination. There are two of them. I'm only going to open one because I'm not sure we'll make it through. I've had something made of seaweed from Trader Joe's that was like a snack that replaced. Oh. I've had straight seaweed. Yeah. My friend Jenny gave some to me at Next Up and she was like, eat this, it's good. And I was like, no, it tastes like the ocean. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I like someone gave me those and they're like, I got these from Trader Joe's. They're actually really good. Don't they taste like potato chips? And I ate it and I was like, oh. 
No the potato chips have no. been eaten. <laughs> Should I do it first? Yeah. Maybe it just tastes like barbecue. It looks disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying new things, Parker. We're opening our horizons. Maybe. <laughs> Tasted like a barbecue chip with chip. It tastes like a barbecue chip with a weird texture, but then <clears throat> the more you chew it, the more it tastes like seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. Oh. I don't think we would be, um, we would have to just be like sweet snackers in Thailand. <laughs> oh man. Why? I can think of plenty of things though that Americans eat that probably people in other countries would be all. What? Is yeah, that those things I don't eat. Okra, I don't care if it's fried. It has no business being a food. Okra, well, like bugles, I feel like are kind of gross food. Yeah, that's true. Bugles are kind of gross, but so fun to put on the fingertips. Well, true. Spicy sesame coated peanuts. Oh, nice. Is there a peanut in there? It looks like a peanut, but it doesn't have the consistency of a peanut. Spicy. Consistency oh. wise, it's Whoa. fine. But spice wise. Oh. <laughs> and it's got a big whiff. Ooh, wee. This is Tom Yum Pretz, which was voted the. Tom Yum Pretz. Uh, since 2011, CNN rated Tom Yum going as the eighth best food in the entire world, beating out donuts, tacos, and ice cream. Whoa! It's like magic. Oh! I don't know. Better than donuts? There's no way it's better than <laughs> Nope. <laughs> that was like, that look you just made was like, oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> better than, better than donuts? Oh. <laughs> no. But, like, when I eat snack food, I never get the snack food that has all the flavoring on it. I get the blandest snack food. I yeah. Think. This isn't your kind of thing. I'm like, if you took all the flavoring off, I would be fine. I like it. I think this is this is probably the best thing, except like, for those coffee candies good. that we've had. All right, now for some green tea pocky. <clears throat> it looks like a sparkler. <laughs> I like the way it looks. I'm almost, I don't want to try it, because I'm almost sure it's not going to tastes as good as it looks. Okay. Is it good? Mm. <laughs> it yeah. doesn't have a lot of taste. It's a good palate cleanser. Yeah, but it's like a yogurty, yogurty pretzel stick. Does that have shrimp in it? This? Am I hallucinating shrimp taste in there? The other one had shrimp. Oh. This one is green tea. There's no shrimp. Can't get shrimp out of my, <laughs> out of my brain. Mm. Pandan cake. I thought it said pancake cake. Pancake cake. <laughs> Pandan cake. I'm interested in what this like green goo looking stuff is in the center that it looks like. That's good. It's like a whole piece of cake. <laughs> okay, cool. I don't know how to describe it. What the, the green stuff in the center is like not, um, it doesn't have a lot of taste. It's like lightly sweet. Yeah, I mean it reminds me of Twinkie. Oh uh, yeah. I like it. I do too. We want more pandan cakes. <laughs> Good job. Good job, pandan cake. Glendy chocolate coconut chips. This is the one I'm concerned. People were saying coconut. online that they really like this. Yeah. Um, but I, oh, it's like actually coconut. Oh. Covered in chocolate. I like it. I think I've liked the things that are kind of understated in their flavor, hmm. which would fit with my kind of not really liking extra, like, Explosively flavored things. Yeah. Sunghai strawberry cream wafers. Now that sounds like something I would like. Cheers. You just can't go wrong with sugar. Yeah. I mean, it's just a wafery strawberry thing. I think we have devoured all the snacks. <laughs> Ready? Look at the elbow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One more. Yes! <laughs> now you! <laughs> oh, yeah! 
yeah, so that was some awesome snacks from Thailand. Mm. Thanks to Universal Yums and their Yum Yum box. If you guys want to be adventurous like me and try cool snacks delivered to you in a box every month, you can go to the link that I have put at the top of the description, which will take you to Universal Yums and it'll show you their cool subscription box. You're making such a mess. <laughs> no! They've got two different kinds of boxes. One that's only $14.99 a month, which gives you six snacks, which I think is a pretty cool deal. So yeah, you guys should go check it out and we can be adventurous foodies together. Yay! That worked out perfectly. Plus you guys should tell me down in the comments what is the weirdest food that you have ever tried. Definitely today has reached a peak of new weird foods. Tell me down in those comments and remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if this video made you smile or maybe made you a little bit hungry. See you guys on Thursday. <laughs>